I realized the moment I fell into the fissure, the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. I continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed, but I must admit that such conjecture is futile. Still, the questions about whose hands might one day hold my misbook are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. Which 
affecting my memory, which explained a lot. The cause can easily be treated with antibiotics, like polio, but Mears is considered a disease of the past. Many doctors have never even heard of it, making it difficult to diagnose. Well, Mears syndrome is kind of called the forgotten disease because of the fact that it used to occur fairly frequently prior to the days that we had very effective antibiotics. But the rise in Lemire's cases in recent years is troubling to many infectious disease doctors. Because there is this emerging concern in the United States that we are overusing antibiotics, we have been encouraging our physicians in the United States to not use antibiotics in this situation. And I think it's because we have stopped using antibiotics so freely in the setting of this world. as well. Oh, I should have known better than have left my library unchecked for so long. Well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in their places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return, but if you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, and erase this message after you've viewed it, just to be safe.
and take her to the doctor for that. And he told me that he felt that she possibly had migraine headaches and that he would give her migraine medication and that, you know, that would be fine. They didn't help at all and it was worthless. Then Marissa's headaches became more intense, accompanied by dizziness. Concerned, Gail took Marissa back to the doctor. I felt that some testing should be done just to make sure that there's no other problem causing these headaches. And it was at that point that he ordered a CT scan of the head. Marissa's doctor said the scan showed no evidence.